Yes, I did my hair today. Don't get attached to it because this probably won't happen often. Let's be honest. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited today because if you've been wondering where I've been, I broke my camera lens and I was super bummed and finally I have a new one. It came in this morning and I just couldn't wait to film so here we are. In today's video we're going to review a foundation. Uh, the foundation is the Becca Cosmetics Aqua Luminous Foundation. I'm also going to demo how I use it to create a very dewy luminous look that's perfect for the summertime. I did it a lot in the springtime. I kind of backed off of it for a little bit and now I'm back because summer is right around the corner. I cannot wait. So excited. So without further ado, let's get started with the review portion. This is kind of a weird story, but I was super excited about this foundation and I went and I bought one. I bought it in the color beige which was actually too light for me, even at the time. Now it would definitely be too light for me. Um, but I purchased it and I thought it was gonna be a color match. I came home, I used it, and I was so disappointed. Like, absolutely disappointed because it just looked heavy, cakey, and it just, it didn't even look luminous, it just looked Greasy and just not very skin like at all and I was really Really disappointed because I had seen other videos and people had raved about it and I Have dry skin so I thought this is perfect now my skin will just look luscious and and Moisturized and it just didn't like it would fold into all my wrinkles, which I don't have a whole lot, but I do, um, and it also, I don't know, it just made my skin almost look like drier, but I don't even know how to explain it, I guess. It was just so thick, it didn't look good. Even with a beauty blender, which is my best, my favorite way to put thicker foundations on. Um, as far as thick, I just mean like full or coverage ones. So then I was like, that's it, I'm gonna return it, I hate it. So I went back and I, was looking at the display again and I decided instead of returning it, I was gonna exchange it for a darker color, giving it a second try. The other thing I did is I purchased the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and I thought, well, you know, I'll try this out. I'll try them together. Most of the videos I've seen people are using it together, so why don't I just try that? Um, so I came home and I used them together and oh my gosh, it's like night and day. Like it's a completely different foundation. Like they are meant to be together on my face. It was just amazing. Like it was exactly what I expected from it the first time. It just had a nice glow to it. It's like the back like priming filter. I felt a little bit guilty purchasing it and for I think a week I told myself, I'm gonna return this, I'm gonna return this, just because it's $38, which I find quite a bit for a priming product. I felt really guilty purchasing it and keeping it, and I don't think that you could pry it from my cold, dead hands. It has just become everything to me. I use it under any foundation when I want the foundation to just look perfect. As much as it hurt to spend that much money on a primer, it was well worth it. I mean, I will restock when this one goes empty, which might be soon. Yep. Uh, in the springtime, that became my everyday foundation, no matter what I was doing, was um, was the Becca Backlight Priming Filter as the primer, and then the Aqua Luminous Foundation, which brings us back to this. 
So I ended up keeping tan. Tan is a little too dark for me, but beige is a little too light for me. But I'm not one who's gonna buy the same foundation in two different colors just to find my color. So the color range kind of sucks. They have a lot of options, but there's so many gaps between shades that it's difficult to find one that matches you. So I have a lighter foundation that I normally mix in with it, which is fine. The packaging is great. It is a glass package, and then the top is really cool. So the top is normally like this, just flat, right? Nice little bronze color. Well then when you turn it, it pops up. And you see that? There. Yeah, girl. So then you keep twisting and you have a dropper situation there. So then you push the top button and that's when the liquid comes out. And then when you close it back up, boom. This foundation, just like my other Becca Cosmetics foundation, it does have sort of a, um, can kind of only be described as a plasticky smell to it. I don't smell it when it's on my face or anything, but it definitely does from the packaging. But that doesn't really bother me. This foundation retails for $44. And let's read some of its claims. Okay, so it says it's a smooth on foundation coverage that feels ultra lightweight and buildable while it evens and perfects your complexion. Every weightless drop of fluid imparts subtle luminosity that blurs imperfections and leaves a soft, focused glow. The foundation features a curated array of nine flexible shades that all flatter that flatter all skin tones. For flawless results, shake well before each use to ensure that the pigments and luminizers blend perfectly. It says it's recommended for normal, normal to dry, dry and very dry skin types. Uh, for oily skin, it says you can actually use it still. They just recommend you use it with their Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector, Blotting Powder Perfector, or Finishing Powder. So basically it's not for you if you have oily skin because you're gonna have to do everything in your power to counteract what the foundation is actually supposed to do. So there's no point. Just my opinion. Basically this foundation has come a long way from a hell no returning to I like it and I wear it almost every day. Well, I hope you guys found this review really helpful. Um, now on to the demo portion of this video. And we're back and I'm barefaced. So we're just gonna take a few pumps of that and then we're gonna put it all over the face to give us a nice dewy appearance. But do you see that glow? I mean, hi. So then next we're gonna take the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation in the color tan. We're gonna put it on with our Beauty Blender, which has already been dampened. So I did get a tan last weekend, so let's hope that this matches now because it matched when I bought it and then I kind of got pasty and then um, it stopped matching me. I love it. Oh my gosh, like that is so glowy. I haven't worn it in a minute. I've just been so obsessed with the Clinique one that I haven't really been wearing this one as much as I was wearing it and probably will wear it coming summer. And next we're gonna contour, we're gonna cream contour with this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. something new out with the contouring I saw 
a little chart for my face shape. It should go down about here, and then here should be really bright. So, which I find weird, like normally people clean up that contour, but maybe it's to like, well not maybe, it is to reshape the face, so all you see is this. So basically we're changing my entire face shape. I mean, we're just trying this out. Okay, and then I'm just taking this e.l.f. contouring brush. And we're just gonna kind of pat that in. All the way back into the hairline. We don't want a line, a white cast, and then in front of that darkness. So that's why you want to make sure you get all the way back into the hairline. If it doesn't look good, whatever, I'll walk around with it all day and then take it off at night and start over tomorrow. Let's get our handy beauty blender and blend that out further. Now I'm going to be taking my Naked Skin uh, Concealer by Urban Decay. And I have this one in the color Medium Light Neutral. And this we're going to be using to conceal and also highlight. Let's start with the highlighting part of this. Down the nose, a little on the forehead, and I do a, on the cupid's bow and also leading up to the nose, and then my chinny chin chin. And then also, obviously, the under eye in a triangle form. And then we'll blend that out with our beauty blender. Even though we want a dewy finish, we still need to set the under eye because um, you don't want the concealer to crease. You also want it to last all day in the extreme heat that summer can sometimes provide. So I'm gonna take my RCMA No Color Powder. All right, let's make sure we're not setting in creases. And to keep it do your appearance, I don't like to set too far down because I want to. I want the skin to stay as luminous as possible. All right, and then let's dust all that powder off just with a nice sippling brush. Let's add back some of that glow. Now we're gonna take the Becca Jaclyn Hill collab Champagne Pop a little elf blush brush. I need to get a better brush for my highlight. I just have it. Stick that in there. Tap off any excess. Ooh, okay. Yes. I don't know why, but I feel like it's a must to make noises when you're putting on your highlight. Since we're going for a very glowy look, we're just kind of putting that everywhere. Definitely on the top of the cheekbone. Definitely over on the temples. Brush a little bit on there. And then let's take some on our pinky. Now let's really highlight that nose so it looks super slim. And on the tip. And Cupid's bow. Mm, yep. Careful on the Cupid's bow, it can turn into a highlight mustache really quick. Lee. A little bit on the chin, 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 too. And now we're a glowy, dewy goddess. 
So what I'm using is the Smashbox Deep Matte Bronzer. Not that we're not already beautifully bronzed, but you gotta set it with powder. Every liquid you gotta set with powder. That way it'll stay the whole day. Under the jaw. So usually I would take my powder and my beauty blender and kind of clean up right here. But like I said, I'm trying something new out, so maybe I'll just put a light line. Let's actually use this shimmering skin perfector blushed copper by Becca Cosmetics. It's a very, it works as a very nice blush. So let's just use this guy as blush. That way it will give us a little bit more of a glow. Go ahead and spray our faces. What I have is the Pure uh, Miracle Mist. It's a hydrating and set powder. or powder. And what that does is basically takes all those powders we put on our face and just melts them into our face. Now if you wanna get really crazy with your highlight, you can set your makeup and then while it's still kind of wet, as it is right now before it dries, you take a little bit more and you can actually go over the highlight again and then suddenly you're just an alien. All right, we're done with our skin. Well, all right guys, our time today has ended. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, and found it informative. Thank you so much for spending the last, I don't know how many minutes, honestly. I really appreciate you guys watching the videos and I'll see you guys in the next one, thanks. And the delivery guy couldn't have come at the worst possible time. Okay. A. Oh.